Turkish Airlines Europe. I feel devotion. Olympiacos welcomed Galatasaray in a must-win game of the week. How the final act of the top 16 decided the remaining playoff places. Six of the best help us understand Panathinaikos winning touch. We stopped off in Barcelona for a word with Evergreen Boniface and Dong. The outstanding players of the week and their scintillating plays. With only one spot up for grabs from Group E to the playoffs, Olympiakos and Galatasaray faced each other in a do-or-die game at the Peace and Friendship Stadium. Galatasaray had won the corresponding game in Istanbul by one single point, leaving both teams no choice but to go out and win on Thursday night. The host had made it to the playoffs for the last seven seasons. This season, coach Ivkovic had been counting on the usual Vasily Spanulis experience, mixed with some highly talented youngsters. I think that uh, our uh, biggest opportunity is if we play one strong defense with one open court transition game, then for example to preset five or five games. Galatasaray started from the Euroleague qualifying round and made it this far thanks to a great team effort. We know that we don't have the greatest talent, we don't have the greatest individuals in, the, in Europe, but uh, during the season we accept this as our rule, that we, we, can be, we can show our strength only if we play together, if we stay together for the whole games. The peace and friendship welcomed Olympiakos and Galatasaray for a crucial top 16 game. Before getting back to the locker room, Spanulis hit a buzzer beater from three-point range to put Olympiakos up by eight at halftime, 43-35. I think that we, the second half we have to go with a much more confidence and with much more uh, trust on ourselves to, to be able to, to recover this uh, difference. We have to support our game with good defense and we have at least, like home game, only two points for transition. We have to support our game with running. I think I do not like to play set games against Galatasaray. Galatasaray reduced the gap as far as is possible in the third thanks to a triple by Jakalakovic and they were down by 1-54-53. Then came a 10-0 scoring run for the home team with the contribution of Gorgias Printizis and AC Law which reopened a safe margin. In a very tough last quarter, Spanulis led the team again, sinking a three-pointer before stealing the ball and going coast to coast, complete with the layup. Olympiakos stretched out a 12-point advantage and closed out the visitors, who managed to narrow the gap just before the buzzer for an 88-81 result. Galatasaray is now out of the competition, while the Reds face Montipaschi Siena in the playoffs. Seska Moscow concluded its top 16 campaign on a good note by stunning Anadolu Efes Istanbul 82-65 at home. Seska and Efes were two teams that already knew their destiny in the tournament. Anadolu Efes was playing his last game and Seska was looking ahead to the next stage, the Euroleague playoffs. After a balanced start, Kozlowskasi's team took an important lead late in the second quarter finishing the first half up by 10 through Alex Sved's three-pointer. In the second half, Seska kept the lead with authority, sealing the win which led them to a playoff challenge against Geskrat Bilbao in the next stage of the Euroleague. Joining the Russians in the playoffs is Olympiakos Pereos, who defeated Galatasaray MP Istanbul 88-81 in our Game of the Week. Twenty-two years won. Twenty-one this August, the other. The faces of basketball's future, Kostas Lukas and Furkan Eldemir, both in their first proper Euroleague season. That's the dream, uh, oh, absolutely, that's the dream of uh, my uh, career. You know, everybody play to uh, play in Euroleague. Coach Eurozam, uh, coach tell me you have to uh, trust yourself. Your age is 20 and you, you can play. I try to uh, give my best in the court. 
So far you've helped your teams in many ways. So what's the best way to do it? It's a team game. When I find myself free and open, it's an opportunity we should take advantage of. And it means the team has worked well. I think that's a little bit about the team characters. You know, some teams uh, play to uh, give to big man and they play low post uh, if they have the good big man players. Uh, but uh, in our team, uh, we play a lot of pick and rolls. So uh, our coach says uh, don't play too much uh, with the ball. Uh, I, I go to pick, pick uh, for the small guys and they, if, they, if they give me the pass, I try to uh, finish that. Do you have a model you try to imitate? I have the good luck of being a teammate of Vasilis Panoulis, one of the best players in Europe, and this is wonderful. I think uh, this year, for this year, my favorite uh, player is Kirilenko, you know, uh, he has a big career. He's really good because he can play uh, forwards, uh, maybe sometimes point guard, sometimes power forwards and sometimes center. Uh, he has so many sides. And now, what do you ask of yourself? Or what do you like most of your game? My aim is to keep improving game after game so that the team reaches its goals in Europe and is the best in Greece. I'm not stronger, so uh, I, I, I like to play uh, maybe pick and roll, I like to play uh, run fast and I try to finish fast break. Costas, are you aware you scored one of the most memorable baskets of the season? What do you remember about it? At times you need a stroke of luck to sink a basket like that one. I can't remember much of what happened after. I wouldn't know how to start explaining my reaction. I realized what I'd done only after having watched myself on video. It doesn't happen so often. I was delighted, but in the end we didn't win, so it left a rather bitter taste. Now for Costas a further great experience. For Furkan the hope is about next season. Anyway guys, the future is in your hands. The playoff spots in Group F went down to points differential. Three teams finished tied with four wins and two losses for the two places available. It was a nervy game in Malaga, where Unicaja, already eliminated from the top 16, hosted Gezkrat Bilbao, still in the hunt for a playoff spot. Katsikari's team set the tempo of the game, keeping the score low, remaining focused in the key moments. With great confidence, Raul Lopez drove Bilbao to a small lead in the fourth quarter, which proved enough to come away with a 59-55 win and clinch the playoff spot thanks to the points difference. The Basque team can now look forward to the best of five games challenge versus Seska Moscow. Gescra Bilbao is a true Cinderella team, having reached the playoffs in its first Euroleague season. In Siena versus Montepaschi, Real Madrid was not in control of his own destiny. Lasso's team had to hope on a helping hand from Malaga, but only bad news filtered through from Spain. Bilbao's win took the shine off Madrid's impressive 102-90 victory over Montepaschi. Real Madrid failed to make it to the playoffs despite the best offense of the entire tournament. Meanwhile, Montepaschi concluded its top 16 campaign in first place and faced Olympiakovs in the playoffs in a remake of last season's challenge. It was not only for his history, so surprising until the 45th minute, but Fenerbahce Ulker Unix Kazan can enter in the Euroleague memories for a never-ending number of unforgettable plays. 1. The Dunks After a fantastic assist like Vladimir Veremenko or putting an offense rebound like James Gist or Gaspar Wiedmar. 2. The Layouts Who says that Henry Domerkant is only a shooter? Look, acrobatically, ball handling and baseline. Driving in traffic. Now Bogdanovic. Look at this move, ended with a perfect fly under control. Roko Ukic, his first fly up, an imperious central drive. A change of hands in air, his best. How to avoid the block? Just delay the shot like Terol Lydie. 
3, the assists, Lynn Greer at the first period buzzer for Alexei Savrasenko. Or for Nathan Jawai. For the hook shots by a forward, Bogdanovic, after a power dribble. By a big man, Vidmar, ending in the best way, a cut. Five, the floats by Rocco Ukic in fast break. Catching and shooting. Turning on a pivot. To tie at the buzzer, a mix of float, hook and magic. Six, by the way, the buzzer shots. Not only Rocco, we saw two more, both by Greer. One fantastic, but just a little after the buzzer. The other definitely before, and equally fantastic. Just one word, guys. Thank you. Same colors, same destiny, the playoffs. Panathinaikos first, Unix Kazan second. This is the final verdict of Group G. Fenerbahce Ulker still had the chance to qualify for the playoffs, but had to win in Milan over EA7 Emporia Armani Milano. With JR Bremer and the recovered Malik Hairston, the Italians, after closing the first half of the top 16 without a win, ended the second undefeated. The same record as Kazan, but lost out on the points differential in the matchup. Against Fenerbahce, Omar Cook served eight assists. Alessandro Gentile scored 12. But it was Hairston who claimed the MVP award, ending with 27 points, leading his team to an 85 72 success. At Kazan, the reigning champions played for first place, crucial with the next round in sight. After a balanced first period, Obradovic's team took a double digit advantage with Mike Batiste and Romain Sato. Henry Domercat with his triples and Nathan Jawai with his dunks tried to mount a comeback, but it was Kostas Kaimakoglu who signed off a fundamental win 63-68, which allows the Greeks to play the fifth playoff game, if necessary, at home against Maccabi. Meanwhile, Unix Kazan will face Barcelona. The playoffs are approaching. And the champions are back. First, they won the group. Second, they showed almost the best form. Third, they are perfecting the well-known playing organization. Six European titles so far. Six examples of it. One, transition, attacking and timing. Dimitris Diamantidis goes to Sarunas Yazikivicius. Back to Diamantidis. to Mike Batiste, who crosses over on the baseline, then passing out to Yazikevicius. The blind screen for Romain Sato is perfect for execution and timing. Another crossover by Sato to take the middle and pass out again to Dimantidis. A fake, the penetration, the assist for Sato. Two, the trademark, the pick and roll. Not the usual between Diamantidis and Batiste. This time, the actors on Nikolathis and Alex Maric. After the pick, Maric cuts inside, while Steven Smith goes high. To get the pass and be the key of a perfect high-low play. Three, now the normal start. Pick and roll, Diamantidis Batiste. Now instead, the third man, Dimitris, looks for the fourth man down on the corner. From here, Sato penetrates and assists the picker, Mike Batiste. Four, using the weak side playing without the ball. As soon as the ball is at the top of the key in Batiste's hands on the weak side, Yazikovic's blocks for Diamantidis. After the pass to him, Batiste cuts while Sarunas goes high. So Samolienko must play against two players. The right choice is to guard the most dangerous, Batiste, but this means an easy triple for Sarunas. Five using both the corners, spacing. A hands-off pass between Kostas Kaimakoglu and Yazikovic. After the dribble, Batiste is cutting down low so Yazikovicius can find Sato in the corner. His penetration allows Kaimakoglu to be wide open in the middle corner for the jumper. Six, the execution. 
Yazakevicius comes from the opposite corner using a reverse screen. The pick and roll with Maric is so perfect that there is all the time to find the big man for the easiest of dunks. Surprise? Not really. The playoffs are so near. Everything had already been decided in Group H. FC Barcelona Regal first, one over Maccabi Tel Aviv second, to remain the only undefeated team in the top 16. The Spanish champions led by 13 early in the last quarter, thanks to a couple of threes from Xavier Abaceda and C.G. Wallace to make the scoreline 57-44. Then the guests reacted. Keith Langford cut the difference to 64-62 with five points in a row. And Yogev Oyeon missed the chance to tie the game at the end after a couple of free throws hit by Pete Michael. The big man Richard Hendricks led Maccabi signing a double-double, 24 and 10. Now for the 2010 champions, the appointment is with Unix Kazan. While the Israeli champions will face Panthanaikos again almost 12 months later, then it was the final, but the award is no less important now. Bennett Cantu travelled to Lithuania to meet Jalgiris Kaunas, and the Italian squad triumphed behind the Euroleague career high, hit by Manuchar Markushvili. The shooter from Georgia scored 32, as Cantu won 77-71. Popovic led Kaunas with 15 points. For both teams, the appointment now is for next season. Farewell. How can scorers like Juan Carlos Navarro and Erezem Lorbeck play so effectively? Well, other than being great players, of course, they also have the help of Boniface Ndong, a guy who plays for the team first, a centre who doesn't need the ball to play. Or do you need to score to feel you're playing at your best, Boniface? I am very used to play without almost no system close, just, you know, playing for my teammate, I play with my teammate, but no, because when I go on the court, I, I think first about defense and then take advantage of what uh, uh, defense give me. But, you know, I, I try mostly to stop all the players that, you know, score my points. Mostly in our team, that's not really my job. Boniface looks are deceiving. You look so young, but you turn 35 in September. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I know I'm very close to retiring. <laughs> So my projection was always to play till 35, you know, now I yeah, maybe 36, you know. I'm sure if I'm not hurt, I could play another season for sure at this level. And then we will see, but you know, as long as my body is responding, I will, I will try to play, but I will be listening to my body too, because I am very competitive and, you know, if I cannot, I, I don't want to keep playing, you know, so I will listen to my body. If my body say yes or I can, I will keep playing, but otherwise you will see me on the side clapping for you guys. <laughs> How would you describe yourself as a player? I am a very defensive-minded player and believe a lot in defense. So to, to believe a ball and recuperate the ball, it's something that I'm very proud of. Is there a historical reason for that? Uh, I think it started in Senegal because uh, there the coach talk only most about defense. You know, we don't really teach us a lot of offense, but mostly defense. This is something that coach pay a lot of de de details into. This is your third season with Barcelona, and from what you've just said, it appears to be the perfect team for you. The coach tried to to set a lot of uh, defensive rules, a uh, team defensive rule, you know, and that we have to execute as well because we defend as five players, you know, not only as individual. Okay, Boniface, five players, but with a center like you helping everybody everywhere, it can be more effective. Our defense is more to team defense because we, we help each other, you know, sometimes we let the guards penetrate so the big men help, but if the big men help, the guard has to do the rotation. Okay, so that's the defense covered. Just a couple of words about offense. What do you like most? I think on the post, my, my best move might be the, the turnaround fadeaway, you know, from the, the, the right block. Now the playoffs. And then... Uh, for us, you know, uh, we have a team that is always looking to play for titles. So the only goal for us is trying to have the Euroleague crown. And now tell us three things you need to get it. Defense, defense, defense. Okay, Boniface, we received the message. Thank you.
the top 10 fast break selection of week 6. Number 10, Andrei Kirilenko steals and runs. Milos Teodosic drives and lifts. The Seska star softly puts it in. Scoring time 4 seconds. Number 9, when the blocker is also a guard. Bernie Rodriguez all by himself. With the consistent help of Hrue Peric, 3 seconds. Number 8, J.R. Bremer steals and finds Omar Kug in the middle. A change of hands to pass to Malik Hairston for his perfect baseline move, 5 seconds. Number 7, after the turnover, David Logan starts leading the 3 on 2 and finds Romain Sato for a half dunk, 4 seconds. Number 6, Fred, alley -oop number 1. Andrei Varonsovic on the rebound, deflecting to Kirilenko, forward to Alexis Red, to the sky for Sasha Kaun, 3 seconds. Number 5, Thomas Rest blocks, David Moss gets the ball and drives, perfect bounce pass for Igor Rakocevic, 5 seconds. Number 4, Shved Aliyub, number 2. Alexei gets the rebound and goes, knowing exactly what's going to happen. Wow! In 4 seconds. Number 3, rebound, outlet pass and sprint for Peric. Errol Roland dribbles and asses the Croatian. Dunk in 5 seconds. Number 2, Shved Aliyub, number 3. Teodosic blocks, but it's Alexei's day. The ball to him. Perhaps we'll have another Aliyub. Oh yes! in 3 seconds. Number 1. Never lose a ball in fast break if Nathan Jaiwai is around. Henry Domercat knows it and throws the ball. The Enterprise is flying. Earth to Moon in just 2 seconds. One of the great stories of the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague season so far ended on a high note for Bennett Cantu as Manuchar Markosvili had a career best performance to become the B-Win MVP of Top 16 Week 6. Markosvili made 4 of 7 2-point shots, 5 of 10 3-pointers and 9 of 9 free throws to get his 32 points which tied him for the 4th most ever scored in a Top 16 game. And now the top 16 week 6 podium, bronze medal Felipe Reyes. How can we say goodbye to an old friend other than by awarding him a medal? Felipe Reyes, 32, 8 Euroleagues ended his season with a fantastic double-double. 17 points, almost all in the last period, and 14 rebounds, as well as 2 assists. This for example, we'll be waiting for you next season dear friend. Silver medal, Olympiakos supporting actors. Basketball is a team sport. Not even a great like Vasilis Spanoulis can win a game single-handed. He needs good teammates like AC Law, 14 points. And Georgos Printezi, 16. In the last minutes, the script was Printezi's layup and Spanoulis' two-pointer. Spanuli's layup and free throw and triple by Law. Behind the star, a great silver couple. Gold medal, Raul Lopez, once again. Seven days ago this, and it was gold medal. Now, when a season can be decided in a few seconds, this triple for the 51-53. This assist for the 51-55. Ending with four free throws in a row to settle the win, qualification and another gold medal. Number 3, Pideos Greece. Joey Dorsey soars to pin a Yakalakovic's shot on the glass. Let's see it again. Number two, Kazan, Russia. A great team play by Unix. Mike Wilkinson collects the steal. Then Henry Domerkant connects with Nathan Jawai for the alley-oop slam. And the number one play of the week, Barcelona, Spain. Bonnie and Dong rises high for the, not this time, Sophocles short Sanidis stands in his way with a huge block.
Ready for the playoffs? I am. I am. I am. You better get ready. Playoff drama comes your way in the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague starting March 20th. Don't miss it. Turkish Airlines, Europe. I feel devotion.